<laughs> All right. So what do we need to do? We Can we make a check. checklist? Let's do a check. Yes, but let's do a checklist on what we need to type check. <laughs> the operation. That's what we need to do. Just the operations? Yeah, that, because no, that's the new man. one. I think that's we, the new one. Okay, okay, but we need to parse as well, right? Yeah, no, we need to. That's a different phase. In, to type no, check. No, oh, I I'm just thinking, dude, is our type system fine? I don't think it was. Wasn't like you and Anta that made a call and just discussed, like analyzed it and saw that it was like there were some inconsistencies? Yeah, there is some stuff that we need to be aware because we discovered that. It, that be, the problem all the the problem arised because we decided to add the maybe return type and type annotation because yes. we have the reduction function so but then we need to what happens and we need, we need to what happens if you annotate the return type Sh what should we compare that against right that that is a that was the question oh screen okay, share so i forgot there sorry is, okay so there is that we need to do right yeah, we need to not not to do because we already did. We just need to double check if this is what we want, because it's already compiling. So the it, it is okay, a, a possible solution. Maybe it's the wrong one. Uh, uh, what is what is the dinner? Not the tell us. Let us know. <laughs> so today we need to type check e operations, and then we need to parse it later. Oh man, roasted chicken. That's really good. Yes, that's really Bayon. good. Yeah, that's, Basics, that's, okay. that, that is very, that is a Brazilian culture right there. Yes, based Brazilian culture. Which probably it is the only thing in Brazilian culture that I like, the food. I like, well, I don't like everything, but I like music as well, like old music. Oh, uh, yeah, that, that's kind of fair. Some some music, old music is also... Poems, okay. oh man, poems from the Old Republic, they're good. I like the Old Republic name, that sounds like Star Wars, right? <laughs> It sounds like Star Wars, yes. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, so, uh, we need to do t type checking, and I also... Wait. Uh, the question all becomes, E operations, does that... D did that add uh, a new type? I don't think so. I think we just added the... The, exp the expression. No, wait. We added another thing there. No, we added oper the On type the operator and we yeah, added but we the added e strings, operation. I guess. I think we added strings as well. You can check. No, no, yes, but, this, no but this is an, an added literal. Yeah, this is just a, yeah, this is a dummy. Uh, but we are not checking yet, yet right? So what what are checking what, Nathan? Because the operator. Oh, no, we are not. Yes, we are not. What do you guys mean by checking the operator? The type, right? Like, oh, we're not type checking it. Oh yeah, no, that's what what you're gonna do right now. So if you go to the typer, we need to make another type check with environment. I thought we were doing that already. Let we did see. with the evaluator. Oh, we started, I mean, but, but let's see. We, we did with you. the evaluator. So operation. An operation is composed out of an operator. And it's also composed out of a list of expressions. So, what should be the first thing that we should do with the with that? Uh, any ideas? Uh, okay, so let's think. So we should let's think of how an operator is, right? So let's think of a plus. What the heck? <sighs> Do they have different arities? The answer is, as far as I can tell, we they settle have on having right? arbitrarily arities, right? Can have zero we... or more. Uh, wait, just a second. Yeah. Uh, I mean, for all of them, like all the operations, can we have like either an empty one or an arbitrary one? For now, I yes. I don't know. But for now, I, I think the know. ones that we already have, like the or, the and, plus, minus, multiplication, and division, all of them accept zero or more. We have to check in the evaluator, because if you allow the zero, something could fail at runtime, time, right? But the no, the evaluator is already ha handling that, I, I think. Like, the zero for every operator? Yeah, the and is here. 
the ore is here. No, you can't just look at this because of the thing, you know, right? No, we, I can because you only have what? Six. No, no, uh, what I mean is, just because you are pattern matching on that expression in the list, it doesn't mean that it allows the, the empty one. No, but the parser because... will allow that. Okay, uh, what I mean is, you can, for example, forbid the empty list with any operator or something like that, and then match with the empty one just for a recursive case, but not on the first. I agree so, with that. I agree with that. What I'm saying is just checking that might not be enough. So we have to like go to the what would be the pattern match, right? Uh, oh, wait, this is this is a problem that we didn't we didn't catch last time. This is not this is not going to work. This mm. is recursion, recursion. Because when this guy is calling for itself, it will read it will hit this first. It will never hit the empty case. That's interesting. <laughs> so just change the order, right? Uh, just change the order. And why is he not complaining? Wait. No, I'm not sure. it shouldn't be complaining. It shouldn't be complaining because... Oh, okay, yeah. Thanks. Uh, but it's we should... The order does matter. The order does matter in this case. Uh... So we're gonna pick this, we're gonna put it here. Oh man, I should have picked a better theme. This is horrible. Wait, but changing the order will change... Wait, I'm confused now, Tom, because... The, this recursive function will, will eventually hit a list with only one element, regardless, right? It, it, it's not regardless of the order. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, we're never going to reach the empty case, because we're always going to reach Only first. Only if it's the first. Only if it's the first, that I agree. Okay, no, so the order does matter. Okay. I need to remember that the our base cases for the recursion, they are not only base cases, they do something else. Um, okay, so I think this, uh, this goes before that. Now we have the plus and the multiplication because they have mo uh, the mon they have monoids, yeah, but they can stay here. Okay, so that's what was the kind the of thing that this would help a lot. What is the kind of thing? That logic that we have on the pattern match and recursion and shit. Like you know, if we match this in the future, like test will guarantee that if you yeah test that we don't have. Sure, but in the future, <laughs> we can guarantee this kind of thing. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, go, let's go back to the typer. So, now that the evaluator is fine, what was your question? The arity, right? I think we're, yeah. it's always one at most, if I'm not mistaken. The arity? One at most? Yeah, like, oh. I think we can put as many as we want, as long as we have at least one, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, did we settle on that with all of them? Let me see the implementation, I don't recall. Because I don't think we have less than, for instance. So let's see here. This is the garbage, right? So this two. Yeah, this so is we for have... or and end. Oh, let me look at the... Adithmetic. What is it? It's this one? Yeah, this is the... Yeah, for every yeah. single multiplication, mm -hmm. summing... So we have an operator, and then we dismember it, evaluating all the arguments, we dismember the head, and yeah. then the tail could be empty in this case, right? It, it could be empty, that's, that's not a problem. And then we do a fold, starting with that position. So yes, it is at most that thing. But then that raises me the question, if you're passing plus in a fold with an empty list, it's just going to return the element, right? The first one. Yeah. Yeah, so we can have it one, at least one, and max any. Oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. There's a there's a thing. If you have at least one, you're not going to pattern match on line 79. You're going to pattern match on line 50, 57 oh, wait a second. and 58. Oh, wait a second. We are doing fold R. In the case of a plus, that's not a problem. But in the case of, like, division, that is a problem, isn't it? Like, oh, if you have... Wait. 
No, divisions, I don't think it is. Like, no, no, like, you're no, I think you're no, correct. No, no. I think you're correct. The order does no, matter. If, if it is the same, I don't think it does. But if you are doing with, like, nested things, then maybe. Yeah, that's nested easy to change. Things. Let's put full L here. That's fine. Yeah, I don't think it matters, though. Yeah, I don't think it matters. No, wait. The only place that it matters is in... Oh, man, this function. Oh, the minus... No, if you're just gonna do less than, yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't think it matters. No, don't think you don't think it matters. Okay. What about the following? What about fitting? I'm not sure. I was suggest to treat everything as being like zero or more, and in the future we write something like the reference, the arity of each one, and then we can change that, right? Why don't we keep it this way and then we just change this case later? Like this is really not that much. Yeah, no, no, a but problem. some no, but something that is important to you to know: this case that you are highlighting, this is not the case where you like this list cannot have one element because if it is, I, it's gonna better match on line fifty-seven. Line fifty-seven. 57. If you have a default monoid, right? Because oh, I see, is, I see. Uh, because if you are a minus, okay, then you're gonna go to line seventy-nine, just as normal. Yeah. But if you have a multiplication or an add, an, uh, an add, then you're gonna just do the monoid law of returning the first one. Monoid law. Yeah. So I think that for today the evaluator is fine. We, like Magata said, we can just change this later. This is not a, like. Yeah, I'm a more problem. concerned. With, I'm more concerned with stuff like literally the type checking in the thing, not the behavior of stuff. Because this is like, okay, like this is something you can change the behavior, right? Yeah, but the behavior can change it later. The order, like the, the if you're going to fold from the left or fold from the right, you can change that later. That's not a problem. Okay, but Nathan said zero or more, right? Uh, I'm saying we can do that like far and out because it's easier. Everything will be the same. But in the future, we decide the empty for each one. Because, for example, the case in the less than, maybe it doesn't make sense to have uh, less than two. So in the future, we can change that here also. But then, to change that, we would have to better match the operator? Yeah. Nah, I'm not a fan of that, but okay. Oh, other way. <laughs> no, I'm not saying there is another way. I'm just saying that I don't like this approach that we have for the evaluator. There are things I spread out, right? Uh, um, I, I don't have any better suggestion. So, anyway, so it's gonna be pretty much similar to that. So it's gonna be for a list, and what you're gonna do that with that? You're gonna do type check with environment, in which we need the environment. Now the question. They don't. They don't depend on, on each other to type check. Okay, so we can just do a for. We don't have to do recursive or some crap. And then we do like that. That would provide hmm. us the types for each one of the expressions Lemma. of the operator. You could do the following. You can check the operator and the type of the first one. And from that, you can already do a type error. Then, if that's OK for the given operator, you type check the rest of the list, see if they are all the same. That way, I think we can like uh, be faster. Wait, you said so you do a uh, you do a better match on the operator, mm -hmm. uh, and then you check the first the first type the fir the, uh, the 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 type check the first of the list, and also right. Okay, but then but then I think uh, we need a, an empty case here. Uh, if the thing is empty, what should we do? Uh, if the thing is empty... That's a fail, right? Am I going crazy? I have no idea. Depends on what you want. No, I dude, want just to... Say, like, dude, just do anything. Like, are we returning a default value? If so, you know it's type. Yeah, but... Oh, but you're not doing in all of them. Uh, oh yeah. Okay, so we need to we need to be a little bit uh, less pragmatic on this one. We need to say plus here. 
If you are one of these two, then you have a default. In which is going to be pure. Um, uh, ooh. That's Any overloaded, right? <laughs> you can't have a default. <laughs> yeah, what now? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, you can't have a case with zero if you want to overload it. Either you have a different operator or you have at least one element to say it's like. No, but I don't think we have a choice, Nathan, because if you want a default value for plus, we're going to say what? We're going to say that it is a literal? What is the type? Uh... What I'm saying is, it's all because of the overloading. If we want overloading, we can't have the thing with zero elements. Because since it's overloaded, we don't know its type. So if we want overloaded, it has to be, it has to have at least one element. So we can check types and whatnot. Yeah. Mm, but that would be kind of inconsistent, right? Because the evaluator, it is like prepared for receiving zero elements. But the, the type checker will not allow that to happen. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. The opposite would be a problem. <laughs> oh yeah, I agree. But that, okay, okay. So we can't have, we can't have, the, uh, we can't have that. I mean, like, even if we are doing that, you have to do on the evaluator just because of like exhaustiveness, right? Like anyway. Okay, so if you are one of these two with uh, at least one, we just type check that one that you have. Yeah, but you need to check its type before returning them. Exactly, so this is gonna be the, I don't know, single type. And then in case of this, uh, if this is not an L integer, no, not L integer, T integer, uh, uh, then you return that. If you are T rational, then you also return that. And then everything else, Everything else is an error, so you're gonna put others. And then you're gonna say uh, left, right? This back, this printf. So this is a type error in which we say uh, operation only accepts no does not accept values of type this and then we say others okay and then oh man the boilerplate <laughs> uh, okay and then we need to say the same thing for 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 plus so do Operation plus does not accept. Okay. If you have ever an empty, this is a, a straight up error then. So type error. Uh, operators don't type check with no elements. Okay, now we do. We go to the basic case. So the basic case, we're gonna type check each one of them individually, and then those are gonna be the types. Okay, uh... <laughs> uh, no, I'm just I'm just thinking here. No, no problem. Like, so uh... if the operator is an end. You need to check yeah. if the, the, only, the only problem is the like the ones that don't have overloading here are the the booleans, right? Which is and and or like all the logical operators they just work on logic stuff. Yeah. So those I think we can handle the same case, which is like if the elements are not booleans, then mm -hmm. they are wrong. Uh, but then 
we already checked here like we already have x and xs so we don't need to check each one of them right we need we can check all of them wait can you repeat the last part for a moment people enter uh here. we don't need to separate because we already type checked every everything here you no see? no we need unless we want to make more efficient and do like recursive and then you just check one by one yeah I, Nathan's idea was to check the first and then if the first is okay no way no I agree with Magetto Nathan we don't need to we don't need to ch separate no. them no here's what I'm saying like but this is kind of inefficient right because you're basically applying the type check for everything without the halt right no that's true so that is the the only problem. Uh, but you need both solutions, like to be the faster. You need to check the first one because that will be the best case for failure. And when checking the rest, ideally you also would want this short circuit. Oh, so we can't use the four. We need to use recursion. Doesn't that? I don't remember how this four works, by the way. Oh, it's like this. Uh, I can explain. So oh, only for bonus that you will. Actually, it's easy to explain the four with just the type signature. Uh, so stackage. Let me go to stackage and let me pick four. Okay. So this is what four does, uh, Magita. Okay. So it picks a traversable of an applicative. And then it takes a TA. Then a function that goes from A to just mapping to F, B. Yeah, so basically, oh, okay. yeah, you have a container, or, like you have a mm -hmm. container, you have things inside a container T, and you have a function that picks the, the things inside the container and surrounds them with something else, in this case an applicative, mm -hmm. and you want, and you want to like, put yeah. what they generated yeah. inside of the function to be outside and the container mm -hmm. to be in. In our case, this function right here, the type check with environment. This is the neither. This returns a neither. But mm -hmm. this guy is a list, right? This is a, a list mm -hmm. type. So we want the list to be outside, right? So we want. Uh, wait, am I saying crap? Uh, no, yeah, I mean this is correct. We want the the, the list to be inside, the list right? With the type thing, right? Sorry, can you repeat? You want to invert the list with the type? Yes. Is that it? Yes. Mm -hmm. And there's also another a brother of this, which is the traverse, which basically is the same, but the function comes first. Mm -hmm. And then you have um, this. But why were we using that to begin with? We are using that to begin with because we have a list of expressions. And yeah. initially, my intention was to type check all of them. Oh, you see, see, see. But I they always that. return an either, right? Yes, I got it. But Nathan so, is right, we shouldn't use the four because we want to short, short short circuit if we have a problem in the middle. Well, we don't need, right? No, it's not... <laughs> well... <laughs> uh, there's no such thing as necessity here. <laughs> there's no such thing. Uh... Actually, something that I am very curious to see, because maybe we are using this recursion stuff, and maybe the four would already short circuit if we have a failure in the middle. We can try. Can you try on the REPL? Uh, they're probably the, the, the yes, we can do in the because REPL. Because here's what I think. If you have a failure, that's going to be a, a left, right? Yes. In that case. So that would be an element that is different than the... Oh, dude, I think we tried this. I think we tried this, sure? and that's why, yeah, and that's why we were using a four in the beginning. Wait, Try on the repo. This example, oh, look at. Can you uh, can you uh, look? Uh, yes, I see. Yeah, so I think this example is the proof. Because if you ha you have a function that the function that you are traversing, it says that if you have a odd number, then you return a just, right? And else you return a nothing, right? Mm -hmm. And this is odd, oh, okay. but this is not. And the return of everything is nothing. Yeah. So I think the four is snippets. already doing. <laughs> oh, that that would be very good. That would be very good. <laughs> we can we Thumbs can test that. Haskell. We can test that in the wrap of this one. Um, okay, so programming. Actually, I can only do like that. Um, 
This is an uh, import okay, data yeah. traversable. Then we do that, and as expected. But then we can put I don't know. Uh, we want oh we want odd numbers. So one, three, five, and seven. Aha! But yeah. if in the middle of the way we have a, an even number, mm -hmm. everything Nothing. goes to hell. And <laughs> I think. Well, and, and you said the four and the traverse are the same, right? Yeah, it's just swap the order. Exactly. The the it, it is in the documentation, by the way. Look, four is traverse with flipped arguments. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's it, folks. We yeah. know. Okay. All so right. So we, we can don't just need to use recursion. Check. Yeah, we can just dumbly check everything. Yeah, so much easier. And I think so, we can apply the same uh, philosophy in the evaluator too. How do we do like to the same case here? Like it's not like this, right? Like how do yeah, you do? Yeah, that's the thing. Can you? What is the name of that that property in F sharp? I have no idea, man. Good. Like this. <laughs> like I don't know, sum x. No, yeah, I yeah, know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. You're talking about. Um, multiple k uh, patterns. I don't know one. To the same thing, right? And then we discover we cannot. I think the answer is we can't, but that would be funny. And finally said. Okay, so let me start doing it already. So, if oh, we can make a function and call it there on both oh, yeah, cases. So let um, what's gonna be the name? Check if both if all. Dude, what is that? <laughs> this is Wait, the what? deep. Uh, the deepest part of the internet, the Google Groups, man. Oh, man, no, dude. <laughs> oh, oh, that that, look good. that was an Elm group, wasn't it? Uh, Elm discuss, yes. That's, that's something. <sighs> okay, so... Um, okay. Okay, the set, last, last, uh, oh no, this How is How do we check it for all? Like, f not for all, but like, like, a, oh man. Like, a, all, like this. All? Is this, is this thing exist? Uh, let me double check what you, yeah, this is a function. Okay, what does it do? Because I can see the, the signature. It is a monoid for all, all the booleans being true, I guess. Okay, so I need to F map. A list, right? Uh, with something, yes. and if they all conform with the same true, then that it is the case. Or, okay, that's fine. So, uh, wait. what are the parameters? Can wait, you put wait, it wait, here? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, what? Can you explain to me what you want to do? So I want to map all this list here, like uh, oh man, I write F sharp. Okay, I'm retarded. No, you can write F sharp. Let's so, <laughs> okay, so like this. Yeah. Boom. X, oops, X, and then like I don't know, you just do a, a a map to like I don't know, with an if, if uh is a T bool, then uh you do I don't know, uh true, whatever, mm. else false, and then you just do the end or something like this of all of this like all something like this. Okay. Okay, so something like this. Uh, so map, I think I can do. Let's see. Map. Yeah, the map and then list here at the end. So um, list comes in the end of map. Yeah, and then and in the middle I put the function. Uh, every all this function can be suppressed though to this. Oh yeah, you can. That's fair. So this table. Yeah. That's it, I guess. Yeah. Wow. Okay, and this is also necessary. Don't you need to put this? Uh, no, because I'm not. This is it. it when you surround an infix operator with parentheses, you're making it prefixed. Okay. That's... Uh, but this this already works because this is a function that takes a bool and turns a bool. 
Mm -hmm. That okay. returns a type and returns a type. No, returns a picks a type and returns a bool. That's yeah, that's just weird because like in F sharp we would need to do this, right? Yeah. But that's fine. Okay, so and then we send oh, this and garbage. Another, yeah, but there is another another gotcha. You can do this. Oh yeah. Okay, so we oh so we can compose this thing, right? With oh yeah. The other. So okay, so what would be the the other thing? Uh, what would be the other thing, Lemus? You want the a function? All. You want a function that folds them? Yeah, in the, like a fold, but for true. Like if they are all true, oh, then it, it's it is true. all then. I guess. Oh, so just all. Yeah, is no, this? but no, yeah, but I think that maybe you're gonna have to convert that to a monoid. Just a sec. Uh, is the order right on the compose? Isn't it like this? Can you look at my screen? Uh, let me see. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then I need to pass a function to it, right? Yeah. Okay, so we can just do. Oh, so wait. That's it. We don't need the map then. Yeah. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> okay, I thought they all like was by default like true or something, but. I no, I also thought that. I am very surprised that the it is exp it gives you the the possibility of giving you a function. Maybe I got confused because there's another function called any. Any. Oh, any. Yes, I know. But I had the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. So check. We check everything, and then we check with the, well, X and XS. That's why I think we don't need to to separate here. No, we don't need to separate the or and the end. I agree with that. Yeah. So let's just put I don't know um, XS. Multiple patterns. Has and let's just case. copy. It's a foreign language, man. I don't think you have. It is what? Okay. It's a foreign language. I don't think you have. Oh, it is a foreign language just because you can't have two brain, two better matches to the same thing? Yeah, like a toy language. Like a toy language. That's a very weird criteria, but okay. <laughs> Wait. Okay, now how do we check if all of them conform? All of them are the same. We can just fold with equality. Right? Yeah. Fold. Why do you use fold left or fold R? Like, what is the... Uh, the I, I just see you guys using fold R. Like, why? Oh, because two reasons. Uh, uh, oh, laziness. No, no, no. <laughs> no, there is, there, <laughs> is, is. Uh, there is a main reason. The okay. main reason why you use fold R instead of fold L is because fold L has a performance problem. And then it is because mm -hmm. of laziness, the performance. But then they created another Fodel called Fodel Prime, which solves that. <laughs> that sounds good, doesn't it, Magneto? <laughs> like yes, that's awesome. If instead of changing the previous function, you do that. And then you are complaining about JavaScript. Mm. Oh, okay. Anyway. Oh man, I just pissed with the interfaces of libraries. Like, it's the second Haskell library that I looked at the interfaces all splattered in my face. And like, don't dudes have like abstract types and such? I guess they do, man. Yeah, dude, like, I don't understand what was the problem. I think they just didn't bother doing that. Or if it's like my brain is just too small to understand, <laughs> that could be a... Oh, yeah, that can be the case, man. So, anyway. Oscar folks. Yeah, man, I prefer to type stuff like this, you know? Or, <laughs> dude, the thing I sent today, that was awesome. The That, that was big brain, man. Let me, let me find here. <laughs> this. Oh, this is oh, just a proposal. Where are you sending? I'll, say, I'll paste here. Find here. Paste where? On Discord or on the code? Uh, no, uh, no, I can paste it. It's an image. Removes the last occurrence of the invocation list of a delegate from the invocation list. Oh, of I saw that. Delegate. Oh, you mean the error message. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, the other one that I saw today. Let me see. Uh, system invalid operation exception run synchronously may not be called on a task not bound to a delegate such as the task returned from the asynchronous method exception unhandled <laughs> it's kind of stuff man it's kind of stuff okay so this is it I guess 
Yeah. And... You don't sound very confident, Lemus. No, no, no. Your solution, I think it's correct. Uh, I just wondered if we had an extension to do the F sharp way of just con like. Um, oh, it's both on the same end. Oh man, I always forget the same. Like an or we hear it, so like this. I don't know. Yeah. Dude, I was really surprised about this. Like I had no <laughs> idea about this. <laughs> about what? Like I saw one shady operator. Uh, that is basically like a, for data constructors, uh, you can do something like ABC, this, DEF. And then like people were defining stuff like when you have this, like people had to use something like, and it wasn't either, right? So yeah. it was something what? like this with, uh, I don't know, text, whatever. Oh, that's just operator for the either? Or? No, there's yeah, not so an operator here's for the thing, like, <laughs> Is that doing a sum type? Yeah, sort of, but they were <laughs> accessing it with like things like this. Yeah, so, like uh, some type, right? Yeah, like, but that was really weird, man. Like the fact, oops, the yeah. fact that they, they defined like the shady thing just to do this. I don't get the purpose of this. Like, yeah, I also don't understand one, the but... purpose of that. And this is because of JSON, Nathan. That's this is a uh, in either, but it interacts with JSON stuff. That's what I yeah. I read the description in uh, Stack. Could be. Which okay, is, so you weird. usually you would not use that, right? Well, we are, right? <laughs> on, the, on the on the last P, we are. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here as well, but <laughs> because we are required there because of the library, right? Yeah, the library enforces you. Okay, so okay, if you have a so... nine on an or, we check if they are bool if they are all booleans, and if not, we just. Uh, do a fold R with equal. Fold R with equal, I think there's a, another function that does that. Uh, all equal? <laughs> Something like this? Uh, yeah, but no, never mind, man. It's not a problem. Okay, so what do we need to do else? I think we need to define the types for these operators, right? That they accept. But. Oh no, no, we don't. We don't, right? We don't. This is already the type checking for operators, never mind. I'm just going crazy. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's it, I guess. So we return... Oh, but wait, this will return a boolean, right? So that's not the thing we want here. What's uh, going to return? Can... Where is going to return a boolean? Well, these functions, right? They return booleans. They return booleans, that's correct. So, okay, if they are, then we need to do uh, if. So if... Wait, how does the fold works with the equals? Because what you return is a boolean. Yeah, yeah well, that's, that's uh, yeah, that's, what, that's the next. Thing, yeah, we right? need another element in here. Nothing is right. Uh, no, we don't. No, I if, mean you have two, like, and he will compare, but he needs to return a uh, accumulator, right? Oh nub. Oh, we need an accumulator. That's true. Uh, dude, that's. Okay, but we need to pass the first one then. So that's right. I mean, the problem is the elements that we have, they are not booleans. But the boolean operation, the equal, we return a boolean. Yeah, so what's... it will not type check. Because what you return oh, the, is the accumulator. With the accumulator, that's right. You're comparing with the accumulator. That's true. So we need to do something like x. Oh, I what's the order, Lemus? Fold ECC? R is the... Oh, man, every time! <laughs> every time I forget this crap. No, the first one is the element. Okay, so... Oh, man, this is actually shadier. Because... How do we check this? We need to no, just basically that, say... And then you say X because here's equals... what I was thinking. Is it Dude, equals to use the, the all. one? Like, you can pick the first. Yeah, oh, yes, yes, yeah, yes, that's true, yeah. <laughs> We're using it up there, and we are doing... <laughs> and the equals can be comparing it like the first, right? Yeah. Yes, exactly. Exactly. But there's so, another, another guy oops. here. I don't know. Wait, why do we need all bulls and all same? Because uh, if they there's are... A diff yeah, there's a difference. If they are logical operators, we need to check if the type... Is uh, all of them is boolean? All of them are booleans. Yeah, if the logicals are exclusively booleans, right? If it's something else, then it's wrong. But I mean, wait, what the 
fuck dude. Wait. <laughs> ah, that, that, that's something weird. Like, okay, I know that we always need to check they are all the same. But if you are not checking the operator, then you cannot do anything about it. And if you have to check, know... If you're not checking the operator, you cannot do anything about it. Yeah, and you would need to know no, even if they are the correct, same. He's correct. You would need to know the same of what? Check if all, and then you pick a type. You know, type prime. And then we can make, oh, type prime here. Yeah, we need to make one one of these for every single, not every single one of them, but oh, if you are an end and an or, you're just gonna call that with the bool. But oh, if you okay. are an, an a plus, for instance, and then are, we pass the first one here. Yeah, but in this case, no, no, no. The, the okay, this room. forget about the first one. Just follow. No, but if you have a plus, you're gonna check check if no. All. But here's the thing: like the plus could be plus for like rationals or plus for. All their stuff, that's right? The integers. That's so point. that's why I was doing that way because it doesn't matter. Okay, but that would be a problem if you're doing like with booleans, right? It's like plus, true, and true. No, like, wait, what is there that? is no, there is a, a way of doing both. You just put t integer, t rational. By okay. way, folks, <laughs> maybe that's too late to ask. <laughs> oh, there, here comes. <laughs> but <laughs> here like... it fucking comes. Like, I'm not sure if it was that suggested the thing of the list. Maybe it was, probably. Uh, but I mean, it doesn't have to be, I guess, right? If we do it like with the binary operator and, well, we could just parse it and convert to that, right? From the list that we get into the parser. And that would be an easier code, right? <laughs> Much easier <laughs> code on the type checker. <laughs> Like a lot easier, but maybe that's a problem. Um, I got you. No, I don't think it. Well, you need at least two, right? In the case of zero. No, no, you have to think about about the case of zero and one. Like I don't know what. Dude, I'm just thinking about what you did, Lemus. My no, I, this is not is... done. This is not done. This is not done. Because I, th I thought, oh, I'm going to have a list of possibility, no, possible types. No, I get it, types. but how are you going to get that all the possibilities are exclusively one? That's my problem. That's uh, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. I need to make sure that you're not mixing integers with rationals, right? Yeah. And that's what I am uh, thinking about now. How can I do that? How can I do that? I think that? the Greg way would do a plus with <laughs> another possibility. <laughs> no. Uh, can't we use the Haskell guards for that? Oh, we can, man. We can. Yeah, but the syntax is not the same, I get that. The code is worse. Oh, oh you mean aesthetically? <laughs> oh, yeah, we can use the... You mean like that, right? Yeah, yeah what I yeah, mean but is then... they don't... Be... Well, you have but more like... Need to do this, right? Uh... Oh, wait, and then we pass the thing here. Yeah, that was my idea, to make it reusable. Yeah, so this would be the plus for this. Uh, is it go, go, does it go here? Yeah, I, I guess so. Okay, that's strange. But most of stuff in Haskell is strange. No, but wait, uh, we are guarding what exactly? That's a fair question. Well, like we change here, right? If it's if it's a integer or a rational, we do two branches that do the same thing, but we just change the type. Wait. Oh, but that's ugly. But yes, that works. No, 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 no. no. But I'm but trying to not, understand what is happening. You're not writing the guard. Because, I yeah, don't know. No. Okay. I. We are better how matching we make... the operator. We are better matching the operator, and then we say, oh, that this guard is not checking for anything, so the guard there doesn't make a lot of sense. So what is the syntax of the guard that knows? No, the syntax is that, what we did. This is the syntax uh, of the uh, word. But then you, put, you need to put a predicate here and an equal. Well, then it was not the syntax. No, I mean, the, the pipe. The pipe after the arrow was right. That was, that's what yeah, I meant. Like, this is what I wanted. Yeah, but yeah, Lemus just did there. Like, you need to know what you're guarding, right? A second, so. let me... Oh, man. Dude. Wait. Oh, no, 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 
he's correct, Nathan. He's correct. This is the predicate. And then if that's the case, we just return t rational. He's correct. He's correct. So these we, we need to do that. Oops. Wait, what is the access that that we have? We have that. We need to do like that because then we can have the same op op, op plus okay, back. like that. Uh, oh, but oh. for multiple types, for integers and rationals, like that. Okay, that looks way better. Yeah, but this is how this is how it, it does. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah still... That's only bad performance-wise, but uh, nah. like, well, yeah, bad. <laughs> yeah, because you not only you check <laughs> everything. That, that, that's but... something. That's something we we should solve. If Polymorphism later, right? But with like the operator. Oh, like, like because yeah, if you, yeah, if you make an alias, for example, for an integer, like for an integer. how would we guess? How would we know that this is actually the type, right? This Wait, is a number. Number a type alias for an integer. Yeah, like I don't know. You make an alias for a an type integer. number equals integer. Yeah. Okay. And then, then this like, question it, is: it, How are we gonna know? But I think that the answer to that is that we're going to have to convert the alias back to the primitive. I'm not understanding. For example, we do this, Nathan. Let me write here. In I got the alias part, but what is the problem part? So the problem here it would be, would we get something like this here? Not, not written, of course, but something like this. Oh, uh, okay, see, yeah. That would be a case like ABC, but ABC yeah. doesn't represent anything. Yeah, the so way it works... You would have to convert, I think, in this way, right? Yeah, the way that it works... Wait. Now, I don't remember how I did, but we probably should do different, or I don't know. But I'm not sure if the type check will return you that the thing is an alias or the thing itself. Probably the alias, for like naming reason, so you can print like as an alias, uh, but the thing is, the alias has what it was alias to inside, right? So mm -hmm. it will be like type alias ABC, and on the right side of a tuple, where I don't know, it will have the original thing that was added. And then what you need to do is, when you type check and it's an alias, then you unwrap it. Oh, so I was correct. You were going to go to the primitive. You're gonna unwrap the alias shell to get the 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 found, like the primitive inside. It's the same thing that we are doing on the things that we need to normalize and stuff. Every time before you compare or match a type to take a decision upon that, you have to unwrap off a bunch of things. Like you normalize on wrapping alias, you have to do stuff before. But you need the last case, right? Yeah, you need to. No, but all of them are arithmetic. No, but what if they all fail? If they are not integer or rational or... Oh, the yeah, otherwise you it, mean it's on the guard. Thing. Yeah, we should allow strings there as well, right? Oh no, multiplication of those, no. Maybe just plus. No, 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 never mind what I'm saying. I prefer having having plus really plus. I, ha I prefer having this for concat. Yeah, or like just <laughs> the circumflex, like this. Like a special one, right? For yeah. strings. So printf, then we say type error. Uh... Delegate was not accepted. <laughs> Uh, Delegate of a previous function is not is not callable <laughs> because it does not implement the interface I enumerable. You could say arithmetic in general, or you could do a function of operator to name. Arithmetic operators must use integers or rationals. Arithmetic operator. I arithmetic is very good, man. No, arithmetic. <laughs> Summable. <laughs> uh. Uh, show orders. Okay, done. 
Okay. What is the name for the type class for show? Isn't it odd? Okay. What is the name of the type? Is showable? No, show. Oh, that would be funny if it no, was showable. The, the, the type class for using show is show? Yeah. Oh, that's that's bad. No, they lost the, the chance, right? Is stringable? <laughs> stringable, yes. <laughs> Stringable. <laughs> yeah, and everything you, you just make I and then the word in fix and then the suffix above. That's it. Let's see if this mess compiles. I doubt it. Oh, this doesn't exist. Delegates are pretty fun, by the way. They're interesting. They like love this, but worse. Uh, well, for OO. Kinda, <laughs> yes. Because like, actually, okay, it's a function, but it's also yeah, object. Yeah, Overhead. Yeah, but not really because like the goal of they the are not closures, isn't... right? Or are they? Yeah, the goal of a delegate uh, is to be a type that uh, represents some uh, some random reference for a method. So with a with some specified parameter list and some return. So that is the thing. It's basically to do the like to do the inheritance hell, when you do abstract classes, you can use that. But I mean, how does it compare to a like traditional anonymous function? What is lacking? What it has? Uh, with, that? Let me see. With an anonymous function, I don't think. <laughs> I mean, is it anonymous? Like, is it a closure? Yeah. Because here's the. F I think it. It is analogous to that, but because here's the thing, like for example, F sharp implements them, but just for C sharp interoperability, you know. But that's it. I don't know. I gotta check how they are analogous because they're like types, literally. But I think you can mimic them, mimic this like well, the same behavior. I would say, with a with a function. You're right. So. But I gotta see how they work. I don't know. I'm not Please don't allow me when you have objects. Let me see here. Delegates.net. Okay. Uh, C sharp programming guide. A delegate is a type that represents references to methods with a particular parameter list and a return type. When you instantiate a delegate, you can associate its instance with any method uh, with a compatible signature and return type. Uh, you can invoke or call, I don't know what is the difference, uh, the method through the delegate instance. Delegates are used to pass methods and arguments uh, to other methods. Oh, to methods as arguments to other methods. So yeah, they are the same garbage. I think it's just so for you the... you put a method inside and then you can call a method of the delegate, the, the delegate like call or something. Yeah, like let's be real. Like delegates are used to pass methods as arguments to other methods. Event handlers are nothing more than methods that are invoked through delegates. You can create a custom method and a class such as a Windows control can call your method when a certain event occurs. So it's like a callback. Uh, yeah. The so what I got is you just wrap a method in a like random object just to be that callback. Yeah. But the thing is, how does it work that part of the reference to a method? No idea. I don't think that was something that they had before needing to do that because why would they? No idea. Gotta see how they work. I just like whenever I get an error message in F sharp that uses them, I just panic because I say, dude, what the heck is happening? I went into the dot net hell. Let me get my auto. <laughs> I'll take a look later. But I know they're cool for interoperability. Uh, like I, I was using this function today and it had. It had the annotation, so I could just interrupt a F sharp lambda. I just had to like there's this garbage here, like action. Like you can put something, and that is like just a function. 
but there's also this funk that picks uh, like a variable number of arguments. Oh. And then you can annotate something like a funk. Like, mm. Mm, but like this. Yeah, I guess that funk you maybe have like, I don't know, some different instance of the type with different numbers of <laughs> parameters. Oh, wait. I don't think it's arbitrary. Yeah, like this. I think you probably will find somewhere declared like funk for one, funk for two, until seven or something. <laughs> okay. yeah, this action, I think, is just when you return this unit and then you just annotate so the parameter. My god, let's learn Idris, man. Oh, man, no. <laughs> we that's will. Way too, we that's will. way too deep, man. Yeah. Way too deep in the abyss. Okay, finally, type checking. Oh. Okay, <laughs> compiles. <laughs> okay, if he compiles, it works, right? <laughs> that's that's mm -hmm. the. Uh, Good luck on that. <laughs> Dude, we have some problems. Okay, go. Yeah, we have. Okay, go. Basically, we are doing. Poo poo okay. with the the pattern matching, right? Because mm. when we add more stuff on the thing and oh, they are yes. not arithmetic, yeah, yeah. we. Yeah, where it's not like exhaustively checking, right? It is not, but I the solution for that at least. Uh, Pay attention. No, yes. no, not only no, no, but a bigger brain. <laughs> a bigger no, brain. I have I have the perfect solution here. We yeah. should do uh, extra stuff to accumulate the arithmetic and the logics, like do group them, because this. Oh, that would be so nested. No, it would be just true here and. In the arithmetic, we have four. In the logic, we have this, this. Well, yeah. Given that we don't have a proper pattern match in Haskell, that's a solution for. Wait. He's just it. being bitter. He's no, what you are, bitter. no, but now I need to ask what you're calling the proper pattern matching. You don't have the R thing, man. Oh, this is the disjunctive pattern matching. Yep. Oh, but every I, we already talked about that. <laughs> Everything else, just but that, and then it's just yeah. Trash. We talked about it. Then check my properly. Uh, check properly the arithmeticable <laughs> oper oh, <laughs> <just dude>. <laughs> operators <laughs> with the exhaustiveness. This is a trap. Yeah, I, okay, let's save that. Okay, now let's next part is parsing. Uh, which is in here. Do you need to have parse stuff? Like, what do we have to parse more? Uh, well, oh, I think oh, we're not parsing. Reason, right? we, know, we need to parse the new guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got about that. Yeah, we don't have operators. I think we don't have lets as well. No, we have lets already. Do we? Yeah, it's here. Do we have the for, do we map do we do that with the for alls as well? Uh well, it's a sign that you are doing a bunch of stuff wrong man. For doing the parsing of the operators, we need to like mess with other stuff like variable, you know? No, we like, don't need to do with variables. We just need to okay. remove uh add the new guys to the list. Oh, to the band list, right? Yeah. Yeah, I just need to add it here. Oh, less bad, yeah. Less uh, bad. Invalid variables. It's the keywords and the delimiters. Oh, dude, okay. should we add scopes as well? What do you mean by that? Oh, but it's a Lisp language. I don't think it matters. What is that? Like begin end, something like this. Oh, yeah, it doesn't exist for us. Only peasants need that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for skins, right? Yeah. <laughs> Only peasants. <laughs> like a pleb. Yeah. Oh, we have a problem. Well, this is not going to be a problem per yeah, se. A bunch of but I don't know how you're going to differentiate the multiplication from oh, the... Oh, we can do like F star. You know well, what they do? Why do we need one for operator? Like... Well, be no, because this is an operator, right? No, yeah, but... Yeah, but what is it here? Like, I don't oh, that's the kind. Anymore. That's the kind, I think. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, the, that's kind. the kind. That's Should we true. use a star or just a star capital? Like, I don't know. Anyway, what is that list of the limiters? Oh, what about this? Uh, oh. This is star written. 
It's gonna be worse. Or we could do like F star <laughs> and they don't have the multiplication, so they actually have to use moot written. Huh? Okay. Yeah, they, there's mean? a conflict in F star. There's a conflict somewhere oh, they explain and they had to add that. Oh shit, that sounds bad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Lemus, but why do we need like keywords, operators, and like why isn't that the same thing? I, I think they use they are used in different places. That's the only reason. I mean, if you are not using them separate for something else, then all of this is just invalid variables itself. No, but yeah, it's just it's more not... readable. <laughs> it's just okay. more readable. Okay, I oh, thought there was fair. like a deep meaning behind no. it, but no. Just... Okay. Yeah, it's just uh, because not, it's more not... readable. Not a bad reason. Uh, okay, so now that we know we're not going to be allowing because that's a, that's a, a key a key a moment right there because before uh, when we did in uh, Erlang and in no in in knife in this case we decided to use the operators as variables right and then the prelude would match mm -hmm. like a lookup for those variables and returns to us the native function but because we dropped that. Uh, here we need to say okay this cannot be a variable anymore uh, just before we forget okay okay it's gonna change this yeah but that's only Where because are we are not doing that as native functions right yeah that's only because we're not doing as native functions anymore where are you uh, kinds where are you? kinds Oh, here. Good, good this. catch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, shit. That's important. Yeah. So, yeah, we have synchronization problems. Yeah. Uh, okay. We should uh, now do the... The lights are here already, by the way. Dude, should we, can we do a nulls in Haskell with, uh, uh, with strings? I know enums are most often cursed, but in this case, <laughs> just change the enum and then it changes everywhere. Know what I mean? Like you mean like a variant, but without a tag? Like something like this. Uh, oh, we should do enums in our language as well, by the way. But like something like this. <laughs> uh, My enum, dude. Something like this, and then you do. I'll do in pseudo F sharp. Like uh, I don't know. Uh, left. Uh, bracket, I don't know, whatever, and then it is the this. Yeah, and then when you change this, that. and then when what? we change this, yeah, we, can we do just that. change everywhere. Because, dude, you like can, this could be unnoticed. Yeah, done. What? Yeah, okay, what? but that's what? Yeah, okay. That's just a string, right? That's a variable. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Uh, let, uh, man, but let's keep it this way, man. It's ugly, like this. <laughs> uh, no, I give up, I give up. I just keep the, the other Is way. it like a sum type in F sharp? But yeah, in F sharp it's, it's a like sum a type. Num because you attribute like a number or a string to it, right? Yeah, in F sharp it is. Oh, like yeah, in F sharp it makes total sense, man. Because I think they were off and stuff, right? Like this. Okay, let's search for that. Why not? Yeah, but like, I don't think fine. you would have that in Haskell. This is fine, man. Let's just keep this way, and then we try to finish what we because have, and then the we type, improve this garbage. If you say it's the type of the ADT, it cannot say it's the type of the value that you have there. Yeah. You don't have that for sure. To enum. Oh, there, there is something like Enum is probably something else. Oh, enumerable, probably. Oh, yeah, shit. No, this is enumerable. <laughs> this is enumerable. <laughs> but you can have, like in TypeScript, Instance uh, and literal and types, right? Like ADTs without tags. Mm, you say uh, this would work, but it would be we, the oh, biggest look at the, look at, ever. Oh, look at what shit. Because there. we would be overloading the enumerable type class to another use case. Look at what the dude is saying there. Do you know about the deriving enum? It's Ooh, but that makes total sense. How do you mean that's Gambia? No, it is Gambiarra, because what we want is kind of like, oh, we want... Uh, it's saying innumerable, not iterable. So it doesn't mean that needs to be a sequence. It could be arbitrary, just to a number, right? Yeah, it's just saying that each strings. case... Well, it will not be innumerable, I guess, right? But you can create one. Like oh, but wait, 
aren't Stringable. Strings? Stringable. Yeah, and then, <laughs> right? Oh, the you right could do it show. Dude, dude. You, that would be a bit of Gambia because of the semantics. But that oh, could yeah, be show. We could, be sh we could do a show. We could do oh, a show. Oh, shit. That would be a bit of Gambia. <laughs> No, okay. I'm happy with this. <laughs> because that's not representing the thing, it's text. It's just well, something bad. associated with it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, uh, bracket, uh, uh, left parents, right parents, uh, left. Uh, braces. Oh man. Right braces. By the way, but why do we need to want? Why do we want that? By the way, we want that uh, because then we don't have to go to every single place and just and change manually the parentheses to a bracket. We just change the the show instance. Yeah, but that also works for variables. So. Oh yeah, we, mm. that also worked for variables. But I suggested that, and you guys said no. So <laughs> no, no, that, no, that's not what Magetta was wanting with the nums. I'm not saying that's not what we want for our use case. No, isn't that but what you want to the nums? No, no, yes, that I just want a way that we just change here and then it changes everywhere. Yeah, that's it. That's what he wants. We, yeah. we keep, this is a bug nightmare. So yeah, I think that's a bad solution for what we want. But I think it's nice to have one of those examples in our code. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Just do a comment, Gambia here. <laughs> what do you mean, man? This is perfect. I love this. <laughs> what do you mean? Not for what you want, my kid. <laughs> I just, I still think of Nathan saying this peasants. <laughs> yeah, that was unexpected. <laughs> So, dude, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then, yeah, this this works. Yeah, this works. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Why are you laughing, man? That's so funny. I don't oh, understand. Dude, that. That's so cursed. No, it can be worse. You can do worse. This this can be even more Gambiarra, man. No. no. Uh, I, 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 I see, I can see. You do like this. Derive... Enum. Oh no! Here we go. And then, what? yeah, yeah, I'll keep yeah, typing. yeah. No, no, no. I'll keep, do. keep, keep, keep. Then you do map show mean uh, uh, dot dot max. Wait, what the fuck are you doing, man? <laughs> you're not what understanding. You you're not understanding how genius this is, man. <laughs> you're not understanding. That's probably an over engineering Gambia, but yeah. explain me what is the default behavior when deriving the num. You gain, if, if I'm not mistaken, you gain the max and the, the mean bound and the max bound. Uh, mm. So this and num. Is that a constant on the system? No, this is no, no. Wait, I, I, I said something wrong. It's not the, it's not the enum. It's not the enum. Bounded is bound. No, bounded. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so we derive bounded. We derive bounded. Dude, but what is the behavior of that? The behavior Dude. is that it will pick. Oh, this is gonna be the minimum, and this is gonna be the maximum. That's really? the behavior, yes. And then we make a function. We make a function that that picks uh, the list going from the minimum to the max, which will always include all the delimiters. And then we map that to show, so we have we have back our list. This is the same thing as this. Oh no. Okay, I didn't mean that's a that's okay. a good gambia. Yeah, that that's actually yeah. <laughs> I, oh my god! I don't think you have any other way to get the list of the cases. I don't think you can do it pattern matching. No, yeah, no, no. This is this thing with bounded. This is not actually unusual. The Haskell in-depth book that I read, not all of it, but I read, I don't know, 100 pages or something. It recommends this thing that I do, I'm doing. Dude, I, I'm just saying I can't think in another way to do that. Like. To get a list of all the cases. Get and wrecked. Do... Get wrecked with your camel no, uh, <laughs> toy language. Get wrecked. Toy language. But actually, we can do that in our camel man with programming. Reflection. As we are doing with derive, not reflection. 
Oh, I can do this by default because of the awesome .NET runtime. Okay, yeah, like with Reflector, you can do everything in runtime. Uh, okay. No, then... I'm saying like without over engineering, bullshit, I already have them. If my memory is not like tricking me, I think we did that before Lambs. Something that to, that use case of I want a list containing all the cases of my ADD. I think we needed that before, man. Maybe months ago. <laughs> months ago. Dude, that's a good idea. <laughs> so every next time that you get that, uh, the solution is this. Uh, now we need to s check if this works. So let's just call the REPL. And we have an error. Where? Derive bounded. bounded. Oh, it's deriving. I, I put derive as a monkey. Derive. Oh, you're illiterate. Deriving. <laughs> as a monkey. Do you know anything about meta programming? Man, us? I swear that I thought you would say, do you know anything about monkeys, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why? Why? <laughs> why? Simply why? Do we need to import that? No. Probably. I was putting... Oh, uh, parentheses. No, no, the... the this oh. is wrong. It should be like this. Oh, I see. Wait, what is that, man? Are... Wait, isn't... Is that because of the type class stuff? Yeah, I need to tell him I want a min to max list from... of what? Oh. And... Okay, this is not... Uh, oh, don't we need a dollar? We shouldn't, but I will test with parentheses first. Oh, you love them, right? For this, for type annotations, like inline type of type annotations, yes. Okay, still errors. Okay, so now we don't have a, we don't have a thing. So couldn't match expect a type A zero with actual type. Oh, it's not min and max. I'm double monkey, man. Uh, it is mean bound. Max bound. Yeah, max okay. bound. No, it makes more sense. Me max, like I was thinking, dude, aren't those like normy functions? Yeah. Okay, so now it's Important. saying that couldn't match expected type with type operators. So it's not, it, it didn't catch that. It's operator it's... list, right? Oh, yeah, you're correct. Is oh, operators right. list actually? We need we should change this. To yeah, single. probably. Uh, the meter. But I, I'm quite impressed, Lemus. Why? I'm quite impressed. <laughs> <laughs> because even though we are using for Gambiaha, that's a really good solution. It's not every day that you need that, but it's really good, man. Okay, next here. No instance of. Oh, you do you need to be an enum? No. It appears oh, that the I, answer is yes. <laughs> okay. I actually answered without knowing. I don't know what did That's I say the there? documentation for the bounded man. Maybe we are not. <laughs> no, but it's not saying here that you need to be. My an brain enum. literally short circuited man. What the? It is saying no instance for enum of operator arising of this. Okay. Maybe so... the range. Oh, it is the uh, dot dot. You're correct, Nathan. No, what doesn't that what? doesn't you generate the bound and then it's a number and the range works? No, no. The enum it is what allows you to put a ordering in this scrap, I guess. Oh. Uh, like you know, you know how to go from the minimum to the minimum plus one. Be because the min and the bound they only know what is the what. what oh, is the but not the, the ones in the middle, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, so we, just, we need a new. That's why I remember the book saying both at the same time. It's not because they are one requires the other. It's because if you and want to do the hacky way, you need both. And and new you attribute just numbers to them, like from zero to yes, yes, it works. Something as the code. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, it, it does in the order. So this is always zero. The first one is mm -hmm. always zero, and so on. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, did it compile? It compiles. All right. <laughs> Wait, awesome. can you show me the code one more time? Yeah. Oh, okay, you, you... Ah. Okay, so the range there, 
We'll use the fact that it's enumerable, but the result will be operator. Well, it's not complaining about the type, right? So No, it's not be complaining right. because this is a little of the limits, but then I'm mapping the show function that we just did. No, that part I got. The part that I was a bit suspicious about was you now can do the range because of enumerable, yeah. but the result will not be the number. Oh, no, it, it will, will not. Be. It will not. How can you get the... Oh, you use the two and no more Yes, exactly. Think, right? Exactly. Okay. So let's parse. Okay, yeah, but let's parse. The cheat chat and let's parse. Okay, so, but we need, we should at least, it's not about needing, it's just, we should. We should go to every single place that is using any sort of... Uh, uh, this, right? Oh, dude, we don't have for like this as well. Is it a problem? No, I actually prefer to have these cases like... Uh, well, but then it's going to be unfair because the lambda is it yeah, is there. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah okay, like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, I, I don't want to do that now. Let's do it later. Okay, so let's call this OP... Oops, OP parser. Okay. So this is the operator oh, that's bad, parser. Man. <laughs> operator, then. Please. <laughs> Top of his names, man. Operator. Okay, so how should we do that? And so let's see. So it is sort of like an application, but where the first thing is a, well, an operator, and the rest is a many of some garbage. Yeah. So we start by the delimiters. Let's do the... We need uh, to do the between, let's right? Do a, yes, let's start. Let's put the do notation, because I'm sure we're going to need it. Yeah. So between... Open the limiter uh, and close the limiter. Oh, we don't need this then. We don't need the parentheses. Close the limiter. This is already extracting this. Okay, and then here we do many with spaces uh, with the funny thing. Okay, wait. I think that's what we want. Uh, not on left. Here oh. we're going to put in, put in a string of... Uh, Oh, wait. <laughs> Man. Ooh. So it is spaces uh, with something else. Exactly. But man, isn't... Yeah, it's this. I'm very surprised. So instead of that, you should do the uh, same yeah. trick. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, that's very cool, actually. And then you say operator. Uh, do we need to import? Probably yes, right? probably oh. yes. Wait a second, you forgot the list. Yeah, I forgot the list. So this this is... Yeah, I'm surprised. <laughs> okay, this is cool. Alright, so we get the operators, right? Mm, no, wait, 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 wait. There is a, there is a catch, there is a catch. This is, not a, this is not a list of parsers. This is a list of operators. We need to f map to transform them to. Am I am I saying shit? This is correct, right? Uh, well, it will. Oh yes, you need to you need to map to a string. Show. Yes. Yes, that's true. Wow. So you choose one, dude. This is very elegant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm legit not expecting this. So. You can say elegant. I wouldn't say it looked good to read it. Dude, like, it's so hacky, but it's so elegant. Like, <laughs> how? <laughs> okay, so between, there is an operator and the Spaces. the rest of the garbages. Yeah. Oh, no, dude, this is wrong. What are I doing here? This should be, like, expressions, right? This should expression be... P. Wait, expression P? I am confused. Yes, we want expression P after the, the thing, right? Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, you're correct. So operators, then, this is applicative because we need both. Yeah. Okay, and then we need to have map Many spaces, redundant spaces, bracket. Spaces, spaces, oh, it's just a each link. Wait. Wait. Where is redundant? This is kind of oh. ambiguous. I don't think we can have spaces in here. This is redundant, I think. And then you put spaces outside. No, no, you need the parentheses. The, it is wrong because the applicative returns. What? I'm confused. We need a function. I don't know what's happening. I don't have hspec going on, but uh, yeah, this okay. is 
methods, but we need to capture, we need a function, exactly, exactly. We need to math map, where's this garbage? Here. Ooh, okay, and... Wait, wait, wait. What? Wait, 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 wait. The arguments are flipped, I think. No, yeah, but this is also, this is, oh, this can't be this elegant, because what is the, this is returning, this is returning a string. Right. Mm -hmm. So you pick the each element of the mean bound to max bound. You transform oh, okay. that to a string, and then you map. And then you you transform that to a parser with the string parser. But you need to f map that back to the type. Yes. So How let's get, the fuck? Let's get the par gonna, Let's get the type that. here. Uh, let. Oops. We don't need the let. How are we gonna do that though? Wait. Just do Greg Wayman. Think Greg. <laughs> Wait. Then, why do we need it back? Because, uh, it's a type. Yeah, because the E operation is not expecting a string, it is expecting a type here. Man, you only need a tuple somewhere. Yeah. You map to a tuple of itself and a string. That's what well, that works. That works. That works. Or you do this. That's a, actually, that's a very great Grug idea. Of course, it's a good idea. <laughs> of course. You're talking about. Of course. Uh. Oh, we can. Oh, I see what Nat no. Maget is doing. We, this also we can works. Do this. But I yes. think that Nathan's idea is actually. A, is better. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Unless you implement a parsable. It's parsable, though. <laughs> Screw you. There's a, there's a phenomenal problem that we didn't anticipate, though. How are we going to differentiate between the operator data type and the operator Gambiaha? <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, yeah. Okay, Viz has the same name? Yeah, no. we, need an, an, we have the operator prime now. No, 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 wait, no, 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 wait. No, 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 I don't dude. think you need that at all. I don't think as well. Like, they have different Them names. Spaces, to man. Oh, I see. Oh, can't we import qualified? Wait a yeah, second. that's a good one. Man, isn't this exactly the same as the data type? No, it is not. Are you sure? No, it, the data types are like multiplication written by extents. No, but and it should be right. Like OP move. Yeah, it could be, yes. Yeah, so who cares? Let's nuke this. Let's just derive, <laughs> let's just derive the yeah. enumi the bounded and let's use the same. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, yeah. you wish it. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah. you remove the show. You put enum and bounded here. And then you uncomment all of this. Oh, we already had it, man. Yeah. We are monkeys. Yeah, I said that twice already. Uh, yeah, that works. Yeah, that totally yeah works. but we have a problem regarding how to show we or no. We would need... Wait, yeah. why? Because we would need at least another function matching them and transforming them to something else of text. Unless you want to pattern matching line. I don't understand what you're talking are. about. Why do we need yeah. other text stuff? So, depending on the operator, you want to put something different on the message. So, you either have a function, operator to text, since you are using the show for something else, or you will match in line, like you already matched somehow to see what Wait, operator you mean specifically is. Instead of having the, the symbol plus, we write addition? Uh, no, no, it depends on your necessity of the whole message. You usually will need. A operator to string of some kind. What? And it's not necessarily the same thing that we have there. Exactly. Can you give me an example of an operation, operator to string that would not be any of these no, guys? just say addition, multiplication operator. Oh, written as like uh, like this. Yeah, like it depends on how you want their master, right? Yeah, but yeah, but I don't think that's a, a real problem. I would. Yeah, rather... we can do a function for it. Yeah, that's also that, uh, that option. But anyway, now that we settle that on, now that we don't have two sort of operators going on, which is cool, uh, we were doing what? This. We were doing this. So what was the, the thing that... Oh, no, I get Nathan suggested to make a... a that probably there's a function that does that, does that. So data list Haskell. Oh, and the side matters. Because you have to map the tuple to the parser, and the string needs to be on the right side of the tuple. Wait. Oh, the side, yeah, you say? Yeah. Ah, those hunters. <laughs> Data list Haskell. Why it is not going to Google? 
Yeah, my internet is broken. I don't know how I'm talking to you guys. Um, maybe, maybe it's just Chrome. Is Close the browser. Close the browser? Yeah. yeah, maybe it's just the browser that broke. Okay, let me unpause that. Okay, Google. Okay, thanks. Data list has... This. Oh, by the way, my gift. When I go into like some random sites, uh, my pussy auto just crash, man. Oh, normal. <laughs> to restart. They're trying to listen to you, man. Like, what the fuck is the browser doing, man? Like, dude, there is like this thing on the. I, I was talking to Victor about like security and overall. There is this method to track like what people do via the frequency on the computer screen. Like literally on the monitor, like you, if you have like text open, like widescreen, uh, you can actually like if you're in another room, you can get by the waves uh, that the the monitor radiates the text. I'm not understanding. Man. What is it's that? No, like, it's like a for a spy, like for spies and such. Like you can literally like have a computer isolated and still spy on somebody. Like people do that. Like you can see what is on the screen without yeah, actually yeah. seeing it. Yes, just via the, the radiation. Fuck? Yeah, but by the radiation of the monitor, right? Holy shit. If, like, it, it makes a frequency in it. There, There is, like, many other things, but, like, uh, for example, did you start to see how shady things are? When you see, for example, um, uh, why, uh, like, Microsoft is now requiring every laptop to use Bluetooth, Intel, like I think it was John McAfee at the time, that warned people, him and the dude from the BART Bay, they warned that Intel, like some Intel processor, uh, was actually just like making connections, like with Bluetooth and so on, like computers, like while it was like sleeping or something. That was pretty... Let me try to find it. I'm just, just getting paranoid, man. Let me find it here. McAfee on oh, the McAfee. So, do you have the time for Idris, Lemos? Not today, but we will eventually reach there. No, no. I mean, like... Can I say? Not us doing a project in Idris. Like, we study it. Like, you know? No, oh, but... You mean... Studying, like, just, just reading, I don't know, a book about it? It doesn't matter how you study. <laughs> yeah, it's because I kind of... Well, I believe that the the best way to study programming languages is by doing stuff. No, yeah, but what I'm saying is we don't need to do in a Nekoma like meeting and something like that, right? No, we don't need to do that. Uh, we have a problem, folks. Well, okay, let me pay attention. So what happened? I don't know how we're gonna maintain the tuple throughout the process. <laughs> because like uh, you zip two identical lists so the the uh -huh. pairs are equal and then you when you show only the second will be transformed to a string wait the, can you like go to the pipeline with me so yeah so the first the thing is to create the initial list our initial list is going to be a list of tuples each tuple no no wait i guess you're skipping things right we have the operators there it's our list and then you are zipping what yeah, operators with operators yeah i'm creating a list of pairs in which the, the members of each pair are equal uh -huh. okay and, and then and you then, just show the second right exactly because this is a f map and not a by map i'm only mapping the show to the second member 
Yeah, but you need a composition of show and the parser string, right? No, but that's the thing. After you sh you, you apply the show, you pick the second. Let me remove this parenthesis here. You you pick the second and then you give that to the string parser, and then you try that out. But the problem is that when we do this, I think we already lost the the. No, no, dude, dude, dude. I guess you are like skipping a bit. Uh, why don't you do the following? You have the zip thing, and then after that you will map with a show composed with a parser. Then you have a tuple of the ADT value and the parser thing. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, do, uh, say again. Yeah. So the first thing you do is to map the result of the zip to a composition of the show and the string parser, I guess. No, it needs to be, it needs to be something like this, I guess. Yeah, you need to map the second, Why? right? Or can you, you do... need that? No, no, okay, sorry, 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 sorry. It's map it? map, I guess. Can't sorry. you do before map, the zip? Map map? Wait. Yeah, wait, because I'm you want confused. to map the tuple, dude. Dude, like, can't you do this? You want a functor operation on the tuple, on the pair. Why do you need the pair specifically? Can't you do this? It's because you see the second that you are extracting there. That's a problem. Because you want the tuple after that. Oh, okay. Like you will convert so to only you one. You can use yeah. the F map yeah, on but the tuple. Dude, just do this, man. Wait. Wait tell me what? You, what you want to do, Nathan. Oh, dude. My guy is a genius, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I... <laughs> I literally just went to Greg, man. What the heck? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not big brain, man. I'm actually not a genius. That's why I did this. <laughs> okay, but then I still don't see how you're going to fix no, the, the problem thing. Not yeah, now you stop doing whatever you are doing there. You somehow iterate the list of tuples and one of the parts, either you... Oh, but wait, like this, I don't think it should be here, right? It should, because we want the parser already, I guess. The yeah. parser for this thing. Yeah, he wants the Without... parser to be ready. It's already, like, so doing you the compose zip. the show and okay, screen, okay. right? So, okay. What is this garbage? Lemon. This is, uh, this is what, no, forget about this at the moment. Okay, go, Nathan. So, do the following. Suppose you have in some fucking way, and they are associated, but you can use separately, you can do whatever, but you have the values and you have the parser. Then, what you need to do? Doesn't care how you will, like, get it, but what do you need to do? You need to pick the parser, which, okay. is, which is the member, or the second member of each tuple. Try and return the value on the other side, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. Which was the same problem as before. Yeah. So, Dude, how the heck we're I gonna extract really stuff it. and then try, but then pick what was before? I know how to do this procedurally. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by procedurally? Well, piping, like <laughs> which is a functional procedural way to think about it. <laughs> Dude, Dude, my, if, my, this if is you know the way, if you can start with that, then we... Okay, but here's my problem with Haskell, man. Like, I can't... Sometimes it gets too cluttered, like, composing all oh, of this. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, uh, no. But, okay, <laughs> let's, a let's try to do... Returns, composability. Let's, try to, let's try to be Greg. Okay, so what is the input and output? Let's make the thing here. Okay, input. so the input is a list... How do you comment multiple lines? It is... Uh, this? Yes. Okay. Uh, so the input is a list of operators. So that's the input. And what we okay. want. I'll what do we want, my. Yeah. Oh, I know how to do it then. You list need to do a map too? again. And on the map, you will just transform the parser in the parser composed of the same. Okay, wait, Nathan. But wait, wait. wait. Tuple, let me right? com let me f complete the description to my game. Yeah, it makes sense. So it is. You have a list of operators, and what we want is a parser that tries all of them in the string form. Okay. And if it matches, it, it mm -hmm. needs to return the original, like 
before let's stringing focus, Isaac. Let's focus it. outside this thing. But say it again, the last part. Yeah, so you, you have a list of operators. We want to try all of them. And the first that it matches in the string form, we want to get we want to return the original type that like before stringanizing the guy that guy, we want the original oh, type. Dude, is yeah, this? I guess we can do all of it in one map. Without the zip, maybe. We yeah, without the zip. Yeah, so just listen to me. Okay, go. Cool. I'm very you curious. Go, you. you will go to the map and you need to map that to a parser. And that's it. The parser will be the parser that you match the thing that you have on the list, but parsing the string and returning what you already have. Like, it's one map. No, wait. Repeat from the beginning because... Oh, I see. Yeah, it makes sense. No, go, go, go. So explain to me. You so what I from what I understand, you yeah you <laughs> want to, you want to make instead of making the choice outside you want to make the choice alongside the element is that it? Like we don't care about choice we need a list of parsers to do the try on right so what we want yes. is to map the list of operators to a list of parsers. Yeah, but this is what we are already doing. Yeah, but. This is fine. No, 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 because our parser is not returning the value of the ADT. Yes, we know that's the whole issue, but how does the yeah. other thing solve it? <laughs> then, okay, so you are mapping the following, the list of operators to a parse that parse the string and return the value. We do that with the just right thing. Okay, okay but map. you will try eventually. And how do you know that oh, which one you I know, tried I know, I is know, the right one? Like, you will end up with a list. And then you can try this, this right? This, and then this, this, this. Man, what the fuck is that thing? <laughs> how you confusing me a lot? Yes. And then you have map a try. Yeah, and then you have map a try. And then, yeah, this works. So let me explain what's happening. We <laughs> have a list of operators, right? This is an operator. Uh -huh. Okay. This is an operator. Then we pick that operator, to transform that to a string, to a string transform parse it to a parser. that, parse that, and if that parses, we're gonna return the original operator. Oh, that thing is a return. But what is that? This mean? is an F map. This is an F map. Okay. This is a, a, a type of FMAP, let's say. Because oh, okay, were, uh, if that oh. thing works. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> this works. Okay. This works. Yes. Wait, because that maps the result of the parser, right? So the result of the parser is a string. Yes, yes. But this is this FMAP Wait, is ignoring the, the string. This FMAP it's here. Yeah. It is speaking, is looking at this string, right? Because this is a parser with a string inside, and it's saying, it "How is that string?" Ignoring, I can let me go to GHCI here. So how it is ignoring? If so, that's not F map. That's a just left or just right. Here, you see. So oh, oh. you have uh, uh, something, and you have a, a, a an a functor, right? So something that you want to F map to, and then you you maintain the structure, but you put something. The, the, you ignore what is inside. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, that, that's easier. not the F map. No, this is a, a, a cousin of the F map. That's why the symbol is so similar. No, no, yeah. So that's the, like, just one, right? Just left or just right? That's mm -hmm. the equivalent of it. Yeah, this is the just left on the functal world. Because the just left... The that we... By the way, in which type class is this declared? Uh, is that for the functor? I think also? it's functor. Oh, okay. So yeah, that would yeah here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what we need, man. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, oh man, but I, I I don't like lambdas. I would I would rather Look, make it's this. Al it's already hard enough to read. Man. <laughs> yeah, man. No, please. <laughs> okay. okay. Anyway, then, okay. So this guy operators. This is not correct anymore because this is operator P. So this guy will return for us the the operator, which is mm -hmm. the first L, the first argument for e operation. And the second is the list. The second is the list. So this should work yeah. just fine. Uh, right. Should we do many plus here? Uh, many one actually, I think, right? Many one is the oh. one that requires at uh, least one. But I think we are. Well, the type checking doesn't allow to have zero, right, Nata? No. 
Yeah, I think we 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 left we make it the yeah. So it needs to be mini one. It needs to be mini one for the first time, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we're we're probably gonna go back and not use it. Okay, but now we need now it. we need a thing, which is that we need to. Well, let's try to compile. Why not? Yeah, uh, I was expecting about do? the press this. No right. Okay. Well, do we need to do do here? Where? Why? We need to do. We need to do do. Yes. Why? Why? Uh, why do what we? What do you need to do if you are always using the like functions that operate on parsers? If you are not using the bind and. No, no, no. no, no he's correct. The... He's correct. We also actually don't need in the let. Yeah, like it's here. If you don't see an arrow pointing to the left, you don't need, need to do. Uh, this one we have peer, so I think we do, right? Yeah, we, if you have peer, we, you do have. Oh, this needs, because this is, uh, we are discarding, but this is an arrow to the left. This is oh, this. Yes. This is the equivalent to this. Yeah, I remember. Okay. Okay, but then uh, we also had this problem before. So pattern bindings uh, except simple variables not allowed in instance declaration. I never seen this error before. So it's complaining uh, about our show. In the type Can you show the the error again? Yeah. So pattern bindings, bindings except, except simple except. variables not allowed in instance. Wait, declaration. where is the show? The show name. That is the problem. <laughs> okay. Dude, you learn how to do it. Why? You... No, I'm not using Emacs. <laughs> but you're using VS yes Code. You can do like select on the op, right? Oh, the op, you mean this? Control D, I guess. Yeah. The same thing. You are VS yes Code master now. I think no, you will no, drop no, Emacs no. eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I know you will. Man. Don't even try, Anata. <laughs> one, one more soldier. <laughs> Don't even try. Okay, now we are missing ports. Okay, so here, import types. Wait, what? <laughs> this carryable. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> uh... You know, it's funny. If I find, I think it's funny on Haskell. We think of like totally stupid solutions, like totally Greg level, and they turn out to be his bars. Like, that's <laughs> 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 it. That's big. <laughs> Okay, now it is complaining about. Is Don't find a validator. List oh, probably we left without. Don't think. No, I don't think we did because types is not exporting. I think that the problem, I think that the problem, is that this utility scrap. This is. Uh, this needs to import something. Uh, that is outside of its folder. And the folder matters because we are using this convention here. So let me think. Yeah, but the solution was awesome. This solution that we did with the, <laughs> the bound, man, the bound type class, underestimated. Underestimated. So good. Uh... I, I think the only other option is to do the meta programming by hand, and that's worth, of course. <laughs> I don't see the problem there, man. Oh, it has a cycle. That is the complaint. So, but, okay, oh. so parser.kinds imports parser.utilities, which imports. In parser.types import, import <laughs> kinds, okay? Oh, no, 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 I am dumb. I am dumb. Okay, I, I, I guess. So, this, is, this was correct. Operator comes here. Okay, from the types, yes. Yeah. Okay. Was... Okay. Uh, okay. Now the expression .hs needs to import that also. Look at this. Import? Look at this list. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. Then, I don't know. Haskell has plenty of good stuff, but he lost me as the small in the small things. Yeah, That's what I, keeps I me from you. at the most. Okay, now we have a problem with oh here. E operation. Well, you can you can if you do, you want you can just n remove the warnings about the about not having the uh, as 
Instantly, it's just not for uh, it. Yeah. Okay, there are things that I cannot just pass a flag to solve. No, but here you can. Yeah, but it doesn't like go with all the other problems, right? Let's see. So it is an expression, color match expression, expression, to expression. Yeah, so where? something expression line... seventy one. Yeah, expression seventy one. So it is in the new the new guy. Okay. So let's think. So what is a type what is expression, the expression? It is mapping something that is an expression to expression? Yeah, it is saying that... Uh, yeah, it is saying oh. that right now we we are returning this. But what the fuck has this type man? I don't know. No, 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 ignore this part because this is the part of the parsec. No, no, no. The first line we have some type of a list of expressions oh, it's a list to expression. expression. Did you notice? Yeah, oh, what is list. that? What I mean, has this type? This, the many. Yeah. But what is the many. true expression? That's weird. Can you look at the operation again? Oh, no, please. Tell me I'm wrong. No, it is a list. Okay, no, yeah. No, it What's is that a code again? Let me... Can yeah. you... This? Uh, like, oh, wait. oh no 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 no! I remember this from back then. We need to do it here. What? Oh yeah, yeah. that's how applicative works. Man. You can't. Oh, I see, I see. It's yes, because yes. the map yeah, that you do in the, the beginning parts. has nothing no. to do with applicative. Yeah, that'll be inside the parse, right? Okay, so the operation works. The between. Uh, now we just need to go to this guy. Add operator p. Okay, now we can have literals, variables, conditions, applications, abstractions, lets, and operators. Sometimes I suspect you are doing something very wrong, like parsing-wise. Because I look at other codes of people doing parsing in Haskell, and it's so fucking small, man. I'm not sure if we have too much syntax, and the things that I look are just like more toy stuff, or have fewer syntax. No, but they usually, are so small. Yeah, but usually when people are talking about parser combinators, they are doing something with very, like, very simpler. So, so JSON, XML. So we don't have no, they are languages. we have. <laughs> they, they are languages, but probably they are much smaller languages. No, and to be honest, our parser of expressions is uh, okay that we have other files here, right? Uh, that they have basic stuff. But the core functionality of our parser have 70 lines of code. Yeah, it Compared with the other examples that I saw, especially because I'm counting the horizontal part, it's huge. But I guess it's because we have a bunch of features. Yeah, we, we already have... I love uh, them bomb emoji there. <laughs> 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 the bomb. Well, as far as I can tell, we should be able to... Try this again. <laughs> yeah. Because the see. type checking already works. Uh, let's see, man. Go. Go. Okay, so what is being done here? Okay. By the way, uh, a random thing. I'm a bit disappointed with the cat, man. Uh, when I got the cat, I was thinking, oh, man. oh I will... Oh, man, it took I me a while to him. discover that you're not talking about the code. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, saw. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. I said it's a random thing. So I, I was thinking, oh, I will teach functional programming to the cat. Man, he doesn't even know where to poop, man. Like, he's not very smart. Well, maybe he is, he just I doesn't guess we like have some. Yes, that's cool. But uh, multiplication... Uh, what about booleans? That's bad. Wait, is that wrong? Yeah. What is it? Minus... Uh... Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, no, no, no it's, yeah, not. it's the right. I told you. I said uh, yes. I was right. It is the left. Change it to left only. Let Wait, what it. is wrong? The, the we don't have negative bar. numbers. The full bar. We don't have negative. No, <laughs> well, we do, but it's the full bar <laughs> that is wrong. <laughs> I get to this right all along, basically. Where is it, man? Here. <laughs> That's a big mistake. Here. Aha! Okay. <laughs> Good. But do we try with... Where is the second? 
This is the Can parse? we parse negative yeah. numbers? Yeah. Oh, wait, that's a good question. Oh, the, yeah. Can we know. parse negative? It depends. Try. It depends on oh. how exactly we are doing that. Oh, man, you're going to look at the code. Just try. Just Many break digits. it. I th yeah, I think we can't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we probably already know. What happens if we do minus with only one argument? That's a negative number. It should be. Right? Assuming uh, the fomonoid crap. Yes. <laughs> well, no, I mean, that, that's, not had, monoid, right? that's not monoid. That's not No, no. I, I mean, like, try with just the minus one, like this, Lemus. Yeah, I don't think we are doing that behavior, but we need that behavior. I think we are. Eh? Hmm. Uh, don't sh does not have the fomonoid. The minus. Okay, we didn't add, but we can. Yeah, we can. The subtraction. Yeah, then we don't even need to pass, right? Yeah, it's a negative exactly. number. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Look at that solution, man. <laughs> what about that? I, I need to be fair. That is pretty elegant. Well, what? Parsing uh, negative numbers with the. If <laughs> 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 that's negative, but that's uh, something. But can you do the minus like? Oh, that broke. That breaks. That breaks. You see there? What breaks? Uh, it, we have. No, it's because your recursive logic. You have to think about it. If it's the first time, it's one thing. If it's on the recursive call, it's something else. No, but wait. Yeah. But so I, put you that, are falling. I put that in the beginning, like the the basic, mm. the general case is here. No, no, yeah, but the general case, you reach the one case later. Oh, yeah, but look at what you're doing. Like you're basically doing zero, like the thing minus, and then the last thing is nothing, right? So it's going to be that. I'm not So the well, fold, was... like what I mean is the fold will not fold with anything because there's nothing else. So the, the full monoid thing that I was thinking was, Starting with some cases depending on the number. So, for example, like if it's a plus on integers, then it's just a zero. You see, so that case you have the the type. No, I guess so that. you have the value. The so then you could have the. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like you cannot do this way to do negative because oh. well, you're not the fold will not do fold with anything. Oh, I see what you mean. You mean but you know? Lemus, I think we should. Have approach one pattern here man to make a whole I'll lot easier dinner. for us i'll be back in uh i don't know 50 minutes i'll be back uh lemos let's not do recursive calls oh i need to tell you something level about functions. That. yeah but i need to tell you something about that do you remember that last time we decided to do recursively because the f we were not sure if the four of the or the traverse would short circuit i sure don't remember that no but that was the reason and we discovered that they do so every single recursive uh, implementation that we did, because we wanted to short circuit, we can just replace that with a four or a traverse. Yeah, I don't think I got it 100%, and I don't really need to, but if that's the case, that's a lot better. Because my suggestion would be, we should not, like, when we reach a case that is a non-empty list and we want to do recursion on it, we should not do it relying on other instances of uh, this top level pattern match because that's a lot confusing. We probably should like create auxiliary function inside and call that there because then you know like that it's not matting. It doesn't matter the mm. the order in some next logic. You said to do it inside. Oh, you no. mean to make a go function inside? I see. Yeah. By the way, why do people call go? I have no idea. <laughs> I have Man, no idea. What the fuck? I but they do. <laughs> they do. Uh, but yeah, because that would avoid a lot of us thinking about stuff. I agree. But let's not do but, that today. It's already. Yeah, because we. Yeah, but do just a comment for substituting for the foreign stuff. Uh, okay, so let's put here to do. Instead of uh, relying on recursive calls of evolve with environment, let's make 
an internal function and do the recursion there. Do you know where that situation happens a lot? They are on functions that you need a, a non-empty list. The first thing you check if the list is empty. If it is, it's an error. If it is not, you do like recursive calls. And on that recursive calls, then it can be empty. Uh, I didn't well, get the last part. Yeah. So you have a function uh, that accepts a list and the list cannot be empty. Yes. So the first thing you do is to check if it's empty, right? Yes. If not, you do like a recursive call. That recursive call has a base case. That base case, it's an empty list. And that one will not be a new, right? Yeah, so you have two situations in which... Like, you are matching the empty list. Yeah, but they mean different things. Fundamentally yeah. different. The first call, it cannot be. But the next ones that you are doing internal, yeah, it yeah, should. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, I'm very surprised that... Uh, oh, I removed, so now we have an error. Uh, okay, okay, I'm pretty satisfied. This this was pretty fun. I'm gonna finish the recording now.